Understanding, provenance of, unveiling the origin story in English. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating phrase, provenance of. This term may sound a bit complex, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it effectively in your conversations and writing. Provenance of is a phrase that refers to the origin or source of something. It's often used in contexts where the background, history, or origin of an object, idea, or person is being discussed. Think of it as a detective story, where provenance of is the clue to finding out the background story. To understand provenance of better, let's look at some examples. 1. Art world, the provenance of this painting is still being researched. This means the origin or history of the painting is under investigation. 2. Literature, the provenance of this manuscript can be traced back to the 18th century. Here, it indicates the manuscript's history or origin dates back to the 18th century. 3. Personal history, they discussed the provenance of his family heirlooms. This is about exploring the history or origin of family treasures. Understanding synonyms can deepen our grasp of provenance of. Some related terms include origin. This is the most direct synonym. Source, similar to origin, but can also imply where something comes from. Pedigree, often used in a more figurative sense, referring to the background or history of something. Incorporating provenance of into your language can make your speech and writing more sophisticated. Here are some tips. 1. When discussing history, use it to refer to the origin of historical artifacts or events. 2. In academic writing, it's useful for citing the source or background of theories and ideas. 3. In everyday conversation, Use it to discuss the background of less tangible things, like traditions or beliefs. I hope this video has shed light on the intriguing phrase, provenance of. Remember, it's all about the backstory, the origin, and the roots of something. Practice using it in your conversations and writings to add depth and clarity. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.